You thought the last one was stupid. That was nothing. People always think, oh my God, Theo, you're so tall in person. Oh, I thought you were going to be like down here. How dare you? Not that you could tell I'm tall from me leaning. I don't know what I was thinking, but welcome back to Gran Turismo. Let's jump to the garage. The Suzuki Cappuccino, an incredible machine that we built last time. And this is about to be taken to another level. Not the cappuccino, these engine swaps in Gran Turismo. We got to 280 miles an hour in what is one of the craziest things I've ever built, probably ever. The next one is a little bit more ridiculous, if I'm totally honest with you. So the cappuccino has all the right things to be a very high performance sports car as is. This sounds so good. It's rear wheel drive. It has really tiny wheelbase. It just actually really makes it feel properly stuck to the road as we found out previously. The Golf GTI, however, not really those foundations for a ridiculously fast car. Let's change that. And so for a demonstration of this incredible machine, I have decided that we will do a full lap of the Nürburgring unedited. Okay, I'm not doing that. You already know the Golf GCI is a fantastic little car. Uh, every generation of it, awesome. Today is more focused on speed and power. However, you know what? I don't really like it. I like this. Now, unlike the Cappuccino, I only have one of these just to demonstrate what we can already do with the car. It's a lot. We can do a lot. We can put the high RPM turbo. We can pretty much put every mod you would want on here other than the ultimate parts because it doesn't rev super high. Shout out to the viewers that told me that. And I, I, I know that I'm not stupid. RX-7, blah, 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 big turbo. Also, I've just realized how big my, my warehouse of cars is. That's incredible. Jealous Gaming said, no, 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 no. Theo, my boy. The dumbest in the best way is this car right here making 700 an 88 horsepower. It has a 1.25 mi- Okay, it's gonna cost me a lot more by the end of it, but the Quattro Pikes Peak engine? <laughs> From the go, 588 horsepower. Let's plop this in. That is ridiculous. I didn't know what that would have was gonna come from. I, we're gonna watch the animation. Why do they always use Subaru? Do they always use Subaru? I now need to see the wide body one just in case. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm wide body. It is. What is their obsession with Subaru? How dare you? It just made the fenders bigger and then put the plastic pieces back on again. 588 horsepower is not enough. No ultra high. It's fine. All good. Do we have, do we have anything we can do? Because I was told, I was promised 800 horsepower. I mean, close enough. We've given it five cylinders, which is gonna sound amazing. And we definitely need that exhaust. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, 788 horsepower, just like that. There is nothing else we can do. It is already as best as it could be. And you know what? It kind of makes sense. Let's, let's put ceramics on. We're gonna do the weight reduction. It already weighs nothing. <laughs> just like the cappuccino. But of course, we're going to another level here, ladies and gentlemen. And we need those racing soft tires because otherwise I'm not getting very far at all. That actually sounds really fun though. I've actually also never built this thing in Gran Turismo yet at all. I don't really know why as such, but we're changing that today, of course. Uh, put some BBS on there. We got custom parts. Yes, indeed. What do we actually... It makes it look more aggressive. I kind of like type A part right there. Side skirt, giving it extra, making this thing look proper. It already does. And the wing, oh my God. What? Hey, if we're going for top speed, it'd be best to not have one. But you know what? I don't think speed is on the cards today. Also, the lights bother me. So I'm going to go for the best ones. Cool. I do actually have one huge demand. Can we please have carbon as like an option? Like, I want to put carbon on to a car as a, as a paint option. I don't, I don't understand why I can't do that unless it's the whole car. It's whole car or nothing. What if I want some bits in carbon? I'm driving a Golf GTI. I can only afford so much. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. These are very cool. I promise. Now, I would just like it to be known that the top speed from the Go kilometers is 200. I think I'm going to put it up. Now, one thing that's really annoying, there's no anti-lag. I don't know why because there definitely should be <laughs> as an option. Uh, I'm going to lower this 
a little bit more. I feel like it could be. And we are starting with the racing softs. So this thing should be... I have goosebumps. <laughs> what the f No way. No way. I... Okay. <laughs> we have got the grippiest, the best tires. I'm lifting off. I'm lifting off. The, I lose all control at the front and I I've lost uh, 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 <laughs> my brain cannot compute the HUD view is the best sound for sure here we go <laughs> what the hell is this machine Oh, the shifting as well is just magnificent. The thing is, if I was to drive it any crazier than I am now, like this, for example, I've got nothing. There is nothing <laughs> touching the ground anymore. <laughs> what the freak? Oh my God. <laughs> The tires reconnecting with the road when I break. <laughs> I'm going to do some adjustments here to this tune to try and get this thing to stick a little bit. But, I, you know, I think I, I might be out of luck. <laughs> and I don't care. I don't know whether I prefer this to the cappuccino or not. That is to be said. But what I do know is that there is no car in this game that's front wheel drive that will get anywhere near this ever again. Saying that, if it can't actually <laughs> grip on the road, <laughs> does that really matter? My wheel just goes light. <laughs> Any turn? <laughs> it can't put its power down. What if I put traction on? Just because, just you know, we're in the middle of a lap. A run. Let's see if we can actually get it to... Uh, Hold a little bit more. Oh my god. That is insane. This is really what Gran Turismo was missing. I know it's a much more serious game. Supposed to be. But it does have these little nuggets of just hilarity in the game. For example, when you do the engine swap, the little animations. And when you do just the little bits like that. They always have a very Japanese feel and even some of the music choices in the previous games mostly they were clearly added with like a comedic value to the game and i i love that they've got some stupid engines the the best way you can make things dumb is by doing stuff like this <laughs> i have put 1.2 million worth of engine here and i don't think i've gone past like 150 <laughs> what a machine man oh man that was so worth the money <laughs> let's watch the replay a little bit go on and he's foot down he's weaving straight out see it doesn't even go that quick <laughs> because i've got nowhere to go i need to go on somewhere quick we also need to check out with basic the worst tires in the game i've got an idea let's go to le mans and we will do <laughs> the time trial with no chicane. Just because I'm bored of special stage X. <laughs> Here we go. <sighs> I'm ready. Oh, and before we do, we've got downforce adjustment. Let's put the downforce all the way down. Because, I mean, that's kind of needed, right? At, at, at this current time. And then put down the rid. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's not often that I get to build something like this, to say the least. All right, what do we got? A little bit more... A little bit more control at the front. Do still have traction on. She's going. She's going. Oh. That's different. So, of course, what we're looking to do is push these tires at the front into the ground. Because they are lifting up. It's still happening where I'm just spinning to, <laughs> spinning to hell. Get some torque steer. No traction. This, this is genius. 
whoever built this car is an absolute genius, right? Let's get it. Let's see if we can... Oh, here we go. This is telling a bit of a different story. We have got, in fourth gear, 200 miles an hour. What is going on? 200? And it's not even... I am so confused. I guess we've only got four gears and I decided to stretch these boys <laughs> quite far. Top speed. I wasn't sure we were going to get that quick of a car, but we actually did. It's always easy to complain about Gran Turismo's sense of speed, but right now this, this feels like 400 in Gran Turismo terms still. <laughs> oh, this is so sick. I'm enjoying this update. I survived! Okay, look. Now we need to do some proper science. Who cares about top speed? Not me. What if we now replace the tires with the worst tires in the game? I wonder what's going to happen. I'm not going to get very far is uh, the first thing in my mind. We almost have more horsepower than we weigh. I don't know why I didn't pay attention to this, but a 788 horsepower, 819 kg. We are so close to perfect. Okay, I need you to just stop, game. Thank you very much. Come to a complete stop. Fantastic. So what we're going to do is we are going to just first off launch. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, that kind of went better than expected, to be honest. Oh my god, I can't stop. I have no tire. I may as well be on the rims. Here, just trying to actually drive is incredibly difficult. But we're going to do it. So, I'm not even trying to spin the wheels here. I'm just trying to accelerate. Whoa! <laughs> I've also noticed the smoke doesn't show through the rear window. Incredible. <laughs> Wait, if I'm on this view, does it show through the rear window? Oh, what a noise. Okay, come on. Smoky, smoky, smoky. We're definitely smoking. Here we go. Yeah, so through the rear, you can see it, but the mirror is showing absolutely nothing. <laughs> I can't. I can't. We're fine. <laughs> Driving fine. <laughs> okay, then the obvious one to do next is to just spin the wheels. Hey, presto, here we go. Make sure. Here we go. Foot on the brake. Maybe the brakes are too good. <laughs> Ah, what if we put the brake balance? Let's pause the back a little bit. <laughs> Go! Second does not work. <laughs> First gear, however... Wait, can I control it by pressing with, messing with the brake balance? That's done nothing. This is perfect. <laughs> Come on! Be more... Nope. <laughs> We can get in second if we're a little bit less aggressive on the brakes, but I was kind of hoping to hold it in place and just <laughs> go. I mean, not. This is a bit closer to what I was anticipating. I've got my handbrake on. And uh, <gasps> we're going to do it. We're coming to a standstill. Here we go. Yes. <laughs> yes. Pure power baby this is this is gran turismo in 2023 definitely not what i thought i would be doing <laughs> i almost can't see this is amazing i flew just i just cut the grass for them they should give me some money speaking of money did i in the previous episode one of the many i've done, I've done a lot did i complete an extra menu and not claim the reward this one no oh no i didn't get this yet on my wish list, I didn't buy it yet. Because, you know, I've been spending all my money. However, what I do have is a three-star roulette ticket. Ah! 
Ah! It was gonna go on the big. This is a good video as well. Smash like, subscribe, and peace.